We got Yvonne from Flerken here. Yvonne, uh, you're in Abu Dhabi. Behind you is the famous Emirates Palace Hotel. Pretty impressive. Uh, how are you doing? How was the preparation going for the inaugural uh, Abu Dhabi International Triathlon? Uh, my preparation went really well. I had a three week of training on Lanzarote on the Spanish island and then I had another three weeks on another island on Fuerte Ventura. Uh, I did a lot of biking, of course, with 200 kilometers biking here, you need a lot of bike kilometers. So I think my preparation went really well, pretty smooth, only a little little accident in the, the last uh, two weeks of my preparation. I had a little cold, but I think I'm over it and I feel really rested. So I'm really looking forward to Saturday, it will be a really exciting race with an amazing women's field. So. I just swam the, bike, uh, the swim course. Um... How did you feel on the swim? Uh, how, how is the water and everything? Uh, I have to say that I'm looking forward to the swim this time because uh, the water is beautiful and uh, I think I will have a big advantage because um, the water is so salty. I could really feel that my uh, body position in the water is pretty good and normally it's maybe a little less good as the good swimmers. So it looks like a, a good swim course. We will do two loops and it's, uh, the water is beautiful as I said. So I'm, I'm looking forward to the swim and the bike. When it comes to the bike, the distance is pretty impressive. Uh, 200k, uh, hardly a, a triathlete ever did a race over 200k on the bike. So uh, what do you expect? What, what do you see as a competition? and What do you expect from this race? Because it's followed by a 20k run, which might obviously pretty be pretty fast. So, what's your expectations for these two legs? Uh, I think the bike course will be really fast. It depends on the winds, of course. Uh, we did a little biking yesterday and the wind wasn't as hard as I expected because we trained on the two islands, the Canary Islands, and we had a lot of winds. So I think I will be, uh, I will be good for sure. Um, yeah, it all depends on the circumstances on Saturday, but for sure the 200 kilometers will be tough with or without wind. So I think it all depends on how you uh, put the 200 kilometers together. So I think you should start pretty easy and keep a lot of energy left for the last part. And as you say, the 20 kilometer run will be, will be hard, will be fast one. And I think uh, you have to be able to run like one hour, 20 minutes or maybe even faster. I don't know how my legs will feel after 200 kilometers. I did it in training, so I think I should be fine. So uh, yeah, we will, we will see. So you did some uh, over distance training uh, in, in, in your preparation. You yes. did uh, several uh, over 200k bike rides, I, I guess. So how, how has that been going? pretty well. I did a couple of 210s as well and afterwards uh, I did some little runs and I didn't feel any difference with 180k. Still, I think for a lot of people it can be different because another 20 kilometers on the bike is still another 20 kilometers. So, but yeah, as a lot of people know, I'm mostly I'm good on the bike so I hope I can play my cards and I'm really looking forward to this race. I think the distance is made for me. So I hope to show that on Saturday. Uh, we saw in the regulations that they have very, very strict regulations about rafting. They have uh, 12 meters from front wheel to front wheel. Uh, uh, pro competitors, elite competitors have to keep 35 meters to media vans. Uh, what do you think about these rules? Uh, is, it, uh, is it also um, a fact because Ferris is involved in the organization? Uh, of course, Ferris is a really good swimmer and biker, so uh, the rules are good for him. He was involved in organizing the race, so I think I should say thank you to him. Because for me, as a good biker, it's, it's perfect for me as well. So I can only say that I'm happy with those rules. Uh, I only hope that they will really uh, put it, can put it through, so that they will be hard in uh, controlling the race. and. Uh, are good for me, so I will be good. Uh, comment on the price purse 50,000 for the win. <laughs> 50,000 for the win, yeah. Everybody's talking about the price money, of course. Uh, the field is that good because of the price money. Um, yeah, it's only a shame that they go from 50,000, they go to 20,000 for the second. So, yeah, 50,000 dollars that's a lot of money, huh? You can do a lot. You're of thinking stuff. about second. 
<laughs> You're thinking about second because I'm talking about the 20,000. Yeah, of course, I'm thinking about top three. I would like to go on the stage. I want to be top three. And you know me, I never say, I never say that I will win this race. I well, you said that before Cozumel. Yes. Oh yeah, because then I was sure that I would win because I was, I feel confident. I feel good. I feel rested because I had to take out of training. I had to take out a little bit because I got a little cold. So I feel really rested, looking forward to the race. The course is perfect for me. It looks like everything is uh, doing me a favor. So maybe, I don't know, I will do some praise. And okay, we'll wish you good luck for Saturday. Thank you. Thank you.